Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Miox Fu. And, well, last time we made our way through the rest of the sewers, made our way into the factory, experienced a few technical errors, but we made it in the end. Oh, I better pause it while I'm opening this too. One second. Needed to take a sip of something, that's all. <laughs> Should have done it before I started the episode, but started doing it while ooh, started doing it while I was uh hitting the play button. Is there anything we can find around here before we go out into that actually quite quite nice looking uh, vista for well, just the PlayStation One game, but <laughs> I thought it was at least. I mean. I guess it's pretty standard. Thought the clouds were better looking than they actually were, but look at that moon, oh my god. Shining right down on us, giving us just enough light to actually make it around. Is there anything back here? Before we go into the obvious... Go and check the obvious, uh... Part of the scene that we're supposed to check. Oh. <laughs> For some re reason, I thought we would be climbing up that ladder on the front, but I'm guessing it's got something to do with, uh... Ah, here we go! Is this for the, the W box? There's a keyhole, yes! I guess that is the W box key. Train... W... I don't get it. Factory map! Yes, I'll take that. I saw that, I was going for it, and I got it. Uh, okay. That doesn't really tell me much. <laughs> I guess, uh, that's the factory. <laughs> Two rooms, and a third hidden room behind behind the wall that we're gonna have to bust down with the train. Yes, I'm, I'm catching on quite quickly, game. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's get that. I'm assuming the turn... I, I, like, I don't get what this is supposed to do. It would just turn the turntable, right? I don't see how that al allows us to get in the train or anything. Unless it just... <laughs> unless it does just send the train flying. I guess it could be that as well. Yes. Okay. Turntable key. I don't need to use this right now. What is it, then? An odd shape key, Umbrella's logo is on the key ring. Okay. Figured. Ah! There we go. <laughs> I just was kind of blind. <laughs> blind during a blind let's play? Who would have guessed? Any zombie train engineers in here? Huh? Anybody? Come on, I'm expecting at least one to jump out. What's this? Embolets. Yeah, I'll take them, but I've got no use for them right now. Figured you'd give me the gun before you started just tossing ammo at me, but no. Yes, I see the glimmer. I see the glimmer. I don't need the anime teeth shine in my eyes to tell me that something's there. I would have checked anyway. Anything? Anything? No. Just the key for the control panel. So... Uh, again. This would just turn the turntable, right? I mean, it can't really start the train. Also, I'm expecting that this is just gonna open a huge can of worms as soon as we turn it on. Gonna have zombies coming out of the woodworks and such, such like that. All right, let's see. Will you push the activation switch? Yeah, why not? It's not like I've got any choice. Oh, I guess we're getting on. <laughs> That's handy. <laughs> Hold on, Ada. We're about to just break on through to the other side. Oh, 
Okay. I wasn't expecting that. But okay. <laughs> I, I really wasn't expecting the train to just go down. Oh, jeez. Snap out of it! You just had a claw through your midriff. Jeez. Okay, so let's get the shotgun ready, because I'm I'm I've got a little bit of a feeling that we're gonna need it. Anything? She's unconscious. Yeah, come on, Ada. <sighs> Getting knocked unconscious after that. In case of an emergency, the red right light will turn on and access from the outside will be prohibited for a limited time. Okay. So we can go out, but we cannot go in for a limited amount of time. Good thing I saved. Guessing this is a boss fight. Good thing I took the shotgun. <laughs> Good thing... There's only a few minutes left. No, there's like ten minutes left to the episode, what am I talking about? Oh jeez, come on, use the claws at least, don't start chucking things at me. Ugh. Ugh, the tyrant from one looks a lot better than you, jeez. Yeah, like arms coming out of your midriff and stuff, ugh. You're just ridiculous looking. No, oh, 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 jeez. Hey, come on, no grabbing. That's not how you play the game. Oh, come on, come on, no. Oh, I'm, f I'm fine after f like three, four hits like that, jeez. All right, come on. Come on, Leon. Use your kicks! Use your... 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 I don't even know, your Nike sneakers to run away. Aha! <laughs> Good thing you're so slow and lumbering. Jeez. Also, what is this music? This is not zombie fighting music. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is like... Fantasy adventure music. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Heal time. Sorry, I'm, I'm like biting my lips as I'm, I'm fighting this guy because I'm trying to concentrate. Because I don't even know if this guy's supposed to be hard or not. I'm just wailing on him because, well, I got a shotgun. There's only one thing I know what to do with a shotgun. Is he dead? There we go. One more shot for good measure. You dead? Yep, yeah, I can I can pass through you. You're dead. Or at least you're dead for this scene. <laughs> Alright. Leon, let's go back in and check Ada. Whew. Was that the husband? Did we just do what a SWAT team couldn't? With just a few shotgun blasts? I mean, come on, we gotta be training our troops better if they can't do that. Or mercenary team, or whatever it was. Or we just gotta have higher standards for the people we hire as mercenaries, I guess. Come on! Wake up! Come on! Are you gonna lift her with your gun and your arm? Because <laughs> you still got one in your hand. Looked like you were starting to caress the back of her head with the shotgun barrel, at least. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh. Hey. Take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. 
go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know. I'm not capable of caring about anyone. <laughs> I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know I'm not capable of caring for anyone. Where did that come from? That's the first time I've heard anything about that. Jeez. <laughs> what do you think, you're Meryl from Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> they destroyed all my feeling all all my feelings for men. A psychological treatment. <laughs> oh man. Also, come on. You can't you can't I got shot in the shoulder. You only got slashed in the midriff. You can't take a little a little punishment like that. Jeez. Yeah, you are gonna slow me down. <laughs> Just the touching music as well, all of a sudden. It's like they're trying to shoehorn in a relationship thing. It's like, oh, I really like being with you. I let you get shot. <laughs> and I let a an alligator go after you without even shooting at it once. <laughs> and I barely shoot at any en enemies we came across. But I really feel, I, I really like being with you. Alright. Let's toss this magnum ammo. Jeez, we get a lot now. I have a feeling we're going to be switching out to the Magnum as soon as we find it, and just leaving the, the pistol, pretty much. So, also, because they're introducing Magnum ammo, I have a feeling that we're not going to be f fighting very many regular zombies anymore, that we're going to start seeing the... the crimson ones, the ones that started to get up after a while, unless you really shot them to hell. And, well, probably more of the liquors. I keep forgetting that they even exist. We haven't seen any for forever. Jeez. Oh boy. Careful, don't go all Palpatine on us and fall over the edge, Leon. A huge breaker system that regulates all the power in the lab. The main fuse has been removed and the power is not active in some areas. So this is gonna be like, uh... Is this gonna be like the, uh the power in the different areas and in, what was it, the the bottom of the police station, I'm just gonna luck, get lucky and guess the right combination or something. I like the Star Trek style doors though, the just the whoosh, open up. <laughs> oh man, it's so quiet. Shutters sealed firmly in place. Doors open with a card key. Aha! Card keys. Now this is like a true puzzle game. Ooh. This is gonna start taking off my health if I stay too long in here. I hope not. It does look quite cold, so I could, I, I'm not really sure. Oh wait, what was that on the barrel? Yeah, right over here. Is that something I can take? Ah, first aid spray. Indeed, I'll take that. Thank you very much. This looks like a control box used for super low temperature experiments. I could set the superconductor fuse here if I had a fuse case. Huh. Could have filled me. Uh, could have fooled me. It looks like a. Uh, A milling machine, one of the small ones that they have in uh, Machinist. Uh, one of the ones that they have in Machinist uh, areas. I don't know, Machinist. Yeah, the areas where Machinist works in factories and stuff. I have no idea what that did, but I'm going to try it out anyway because it said something about using the fuse case. Oh, okay, we're taking the superconductor from this, uh, super low temperature facility. 
Does that mean we're on a time limit for how long that stays cold? Maybe? A la more... Metal Gear Solidy? <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Seems like there's nothing else left, so... Let's go, uh, throw this back in the main fuse box, I guess. But, we're gonna wait to do that until next episode on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio x -Fu. We'll check out the rest of the factory, see what we can do with the fuse box. You know, we've got first aid spray, we could probably go and help Ada, but... Eh, we got a fuse. Come on. Here we go. Actually, you, you know what, let's place it this time. Main fuse. Activate. Huge breaker system that regulates all the power in the lab. Okay, I guess it's... All the power's back on the, in the lab. Or something. So next time we'll check out the rest of the area in the factory or the lab I keep going at the factory we're not in the factory anymore we'll check out the rest of the lab next episode take it easy guys actually I gotta make it back to the save point so I might as well keep this in in case there's any differences oh like that how convenient you start the power up again and they just got zombies coming all over the place. Oh, stay down. Please. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. You were far enough around the corner that I should have been able to hit you. Of course, now I can't see. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I can. Come on, get your zombie butt out of my face. Can't see anything for your glutes. All right, some of you are twitching, but I'm guessing you're dead because I've done so much damage to you. All right, and one last guy. I'm gonna clear him out just because of the number of them. I feel like well, we're gonna have to eventually just because Ada's here. Come on. Are you not dead yet, really? There we go. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. Okay. Jeez. That was, what, five zombies just in this little area? Makes me wonder how bad it's gonna be in the next room. Also, Ada, are you still here? No! Where is Ada? Indeed. Well... I guess I'll leave that little tidbit in, because it's certainly important. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio X Fu. Take it easy. Uh, I need to get the...